Hello everyone, this is Victor Campos, and I'm going to show you how to take a photo in your HTML5-based Android app. So here is my app so far, and in order for me to get the full result, I'm actually going to run this on my real device instead of my virtual device. You can run it on a virtual device, of course, and it'll work if you've got a web camera and all of that, but I'm using my web camera to record these videos, so I'm going to use my real device and this is just for fun it's up to you to decide what you want to do with it this is a, this will be a proof of concept so I'm gonna say that in my social media screen I'm gonna have some buttons to take photos I'm gonna take a photo with my device so let's set ourselves up the easiest way to get started with this is to first go to the phonegap.com website like I showed on a previous video and go to see the documentation of PhoneGap I'm recommending version 2.90 so make sure you're on 2.90 and here's the documentation for using the camera click that read all the details like the privacy notice and such and basically the camera object provides access to the device's default camera application and so there's a lot of uh, explanation on how exactly it works but just like doing most things in PhoneGap as long as you know what you need to do you don't need to know how it works exactly but I recommend you read this. Uh, curl up by the fireplace and give it a good read. So we're going to use a command, basically camera.getPicture, and that will turn on the camera of your device. So the documentation is here. It explains it's navigator.camera.getPicture, and then you want to deal with a successful capture, a, an error in capture, and then you can add some optional camera options. So the documentation goes on to say that it can either take a photo, it can load a photo from the device, and it's going to load the, the camera app, and then uh, you'll get a photo afterward. We've got, you can do whatever you want with the encoded image or URI. For example, render the image in an image tag, as in the example below. Save the data locally using local storage, lawn chair, etc. PouchDB, for example, or post the data, the data to a remote server. All right, so then what I like about the PhoneGap documentation is that it's very thorough, and then it gives you examples. Quick example, and then full example. So I'm just going to borrow the code from the full example and make it work how I need it. The full example has a complete HTML file, and I don't need all of that. What I need is everything listed within the script tag. Notice there's a spot that says script type JavaScript, etc., etc. I'm going to select all of that stuff down to right before script ends. Select all that and copy. And back in Eclipse, I'm going to open my codica.extra.js file. This is where my custom uh, JavaScript will go. So I'll paste after what I've already written. Taking a quick look at what's here, um, this works by creating a couple of variables. Uh, one is going to define the source of the picture, and one is uh, the format of the return value, the destination type. Uh, we're waiting for the device to be ready and such. Once the device is ready, we're going to set a picture source and a destination type based on the phone gap code navigator.camera.picture source type or destination type. And then we've got, uh, let me skip a little bit, but then we've got, okay, we're going to take a photo if the, if the photo uh, data is successful it's going to display a small copy of the picture within the document in a div called small image which we'll need to create and make it displayed um, so it's going to display the image there small image .src, then the data of the image uh, if we are successfully loading the picture from an album deal with that that's fine. So there's going to be a button on the screen called Capture Photo. Uh, take picture using device camera and retrieve image as a base64 encoded string. So basically your picture will be a long block of data. 
and how to deal with that. We will have a couple of other ways to capture a photo depending on your device. Uh, either capture photo or capture photo edit will work. And get the photo instead and if there's a problem what to do with the failure. So that's part one. This is what makes the camera work. Now how do you further make it work? I'm going to go back to the documentation and after that JavaScript stuff, then there's a section that's very simply a few buttons. Button on click capture photo, or capture editable photo, or get photo from an album or a library, and then display it on screen. I'm going to copy those chunks of code as well, because those are going to create my buttons and a placeholder to display the picture, which of course I can edit. So I'm going to copy the stuff in body go back to Eclipse, go to my social screen in my index file, and I'll say after that list view element, mine is uh, line 206, after that I will paste. Here's what I took from the documentation, it's basically four buttons. And before we go further I can see something here image style display none with 60 pixels height 60 pixels small image or display none larger image so either when we take a photo with the camera we will display a 60 by 60 pixel sized image or when we load a picture from the album it'll display it large 64 pixels is a little small for our purposes so what I'll do is I'll change this to with 100% semicolon. If you omit the height, it will keep it in proportion. So now when I take a photo, it will, it will um, be 100% wide. Now, as I said, this will work best on a real device or on a virtual device with your web camera setup. So I'm going to run this on my real device, my LG Venice. Run it. I'll switch my video capture here to live and we'll wait for this to load up. All right, here it's loading. There's my app. Okay, I'm going to go over to the social screen. And now here's the problem with developing uh, we need to actually unplug the device for the camera app to f uh, for this to really function because we need to access the SD card of your device. So um, I've unplugged and now I'm going to select uh, the first button, Capture Photo. This switches over to my camera app. Whoa, look at that. So then I'm going to take a photo. So I've taken a photo on my device and it's going to ask to uh, confirm or not. I will click OK to confirm. That'll take me back to my app. Let's get that focused. And then now there's my photo in my app. What I do with it is uh, up to you, of course. You could uh, email this or do other things with it. Right now, it's a temporary photo. We haven't really stored it anywhere, but the purpose, the point of this is that we've got the ability to capture photos with our, with our app. So that was adding photo capture capability to your HTML5 based Android app.